All right, who's ready to find out what winter has in store for us this year? <laughs> Judy Frazier is here. She's going to tell us she has the woolly worm forecast. And we sort of got to interrupted, had to end the segment before where we were talking about the segments of the woolly worm. Right. Uh, start sort of with what you're looking for with these pictures that have come through and what they mean. Okay. Well, the, the worm, obviously, uh, as I told you, is kind of remarkable. It has these 13 segments, uh, each representing a, a week of winter. And each of those, uh, the, the color of the worm is the most important. If it's dark... Uh, obviously, that's a harsh winter. If it's lighter, orange, tan, that kind of thing, it's a milder winter. And, of course, uh, then you have the white woolly worms, which is an indicator different than its cousins uh, of snow. So that's kind of what I look at for is the coat of the woolly worm. Sometimes you'll have some mild, the first four weeks of winter, maybe light brown. Um, that means it's going to be a mild start, but the basis or the bulk of it would be black. That would mean a harsher winter. So early winter is closest to the head, and then we work our way That's toward right. the tail? Okay. That's when right. you're getting these pictures in, how do you know which end's the head? <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to look for the teeny little eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> which is difficult, but yeah. it, the end looks like the front. It, there's not much difference. Exactly. But you've been doing this a long time, so long you've time. probably got it all figured well, out. The worm expert. Here's yeah. some of these pictures. Now, this one has some pokey things coming off Yeah, of the it. spiky things. Um, you know, you think of a woolly worm, they look like they're soft little fuzzy guys, but they're not. They're bristly. Ooh. Um, and then sometimes you have spikes, which indicates a real icy winter. Uh, this one is pretty bushy, and that, uh, you know, that's also an indicator. And pretty dark. And pretty dark. All right. Because uh, the bushier they are, the more, like, coating yeah, they would need coating. to, like, they stay warm. To stay warm in the winter. This was a little lighter one. We had um, a, my first... Um, opportunity to see a woolly worm was in July. I and saw it that. Was a yellowish white and people have told me that um, they saw zillions of woolly worms early like August, September, but now there's they're kind of sparse. There's n there's not hmm. a lot of woolly worms. Does that mean they're getting ready earlier? Does that, that is there some that meaning to this? That means they're preparing themselves uh, ahead of Judy, time. Judy, I don't like where this <laughs> is know. headed. Look I'm, I'm not going to tell you what's happening, is. but I'm not a fan of this. Now there's like where it is where it's dark on the ends right. and lighter and, in the middle. And lighter in the middle, which would usually indicates a milder part or the bulk of the winter would be mild hmm. um, but there weren't a lot of those oh i like those um, though but they, those <laughs> were nice and, and we've had them in the past i've been doing this for 30 some years and i've seen all different colors and kinds of, of worms and so i just kind of look for the predominant color uh, from the most counties that we look for. Kind of taking an average of everything? Get, get an average yeah. of, of uh, that. And so it, it's, it was very interesting. I'm always so grateful for the folks who not only call in their reports or email. Or hey, there's mine, Judy. There's, oh, there you are. Yeah, look at see, that. I was a woolly wrangler too. Now, is that year. light My color or is that white? That's anything in the real light colors would be considered in the white category. White, so the, the snow category. Yeah, the snow. Thanks a lot, Heather. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's re refresh everyone on last year's forecast because okay. some people question, you know, why do we even care what yeah. these woolly worms have to say? They they pretty much had it well, last you know, year. It's, they're not meteorological 100 percent at it's all. It's fun. But it's fun, and generally speaking, by gosh, those little critters are 80% right, generally speaking. I mean, I, I'm not going to give you a those are good week odds. by sure. week, but that's not not too bad. Okay, so there is some merit to I'm going to tell you last year's forecast. Okay. Okay, it was an equal opportunity winter. Right. Mild at the start, but frequent and serious cold shots late. Keep those shovels handy, but not a big year for snow. That's right. Where we we were pretty spot pretty, on. We had the polar vortex, which I'm sure people will not forget, uh, late January and February, which were really, really cold. Yes. So that kind of, I said, bursts of this cold air. And we didn't have a lot of snow. I don't think we even got up to normal amounts of snow. We get these little little two inches or three inches, but there was no blizzardy kind of weather or not a tremendous a lot of snow. We did have some ice because of the cold, uh, you know, the cold air. But um, so it was, I, I think uh, there, it's pretty it accurate. Has some merit. Well, worms. we've built this up, and uh, in just a couple <laughs> minutes, you are prepared now to tell us what these <laughs> averages mean and either That's excite right. us all or disappoint us all. I did want to tell you the squirrels that I told you were very active. They've destroyed a lot of my pumpkins yes. and stuff. I found this in, in some of my research. It says, when squirrels early start to hoard, winter will pierce us like a sword. 
Oh, Judy. This has been nonstop <laughs> bad news. <laughs> Although we love when she comes. Oh, yes, absolutely. It <laughs> has nothing to do with you, Judy. Oh, goodness. Okay, <laughs> well, you sit tight. Um, we're going to have the official forecast for 2019-2020 um, coming up in just a moment.